Football's first lady, Caroline Wilson, Hi, with Craig. me as always. Welcome, Caro. Good to see you. A, a temporary sugar hit with the bank loan coming through to circa 600 today, 600 million from the AFL, but it doesn't escape the very confronting decisions that are now in front, in front of the future of a few clubs. No, Craig, the AFL's moved out of crisis management and everyone probably agrees that Gillan McLaughlin and his team have made a pretty good fist of it. We'll talk about the players' deal in a moment. But the job now is to keep everyone aligned. And that's going to be difficult when everything is on the table. I just get the feeling when I talk to individual clubs, their bosses, their presidents and CEOs and the AFL that nothing is sacred. And I still can't sit here tonight and say, despite the AFL's assurances, that 18 teams and the way they look now are assured to go into 2021. So who in your mind are the vulnerable teams of the 18 and why? Well... People talk about GWS and the Gold Coast and, you know, when you really add it all up, they're probably each receiving about $30 million a year. But I feel they are so determined to keep a game a week in those two northern markets. And, and I, I feel every time I talk to a club, the, the team that keeps coming back, mergers are talked about and obviously St Kilda's thrown in, Melbourne's thrown in, is North Melbourne and the fact that they should have relocated to Gold Coast some years ago. I'm not saying... They should have. I've had all those fights in the Who, past. Who's saying these things? Other clubs? Or? Other clubs. And, and even within the AFL, there's a view that Tasmania should not be off the table, despite the fact it seems like an indulgence at the moment, and that North Melbourne should go to Tasmania. Do you, do you share that view? I don't... Well, I don't not share it. I, I think that what, there are, What does that mean? Well, I don't... I'm not going to knock the idea out of the park. I'm not saying they should go, but I just keep hearing it, and it's just interesting that even within... Lower down at the AFL, I'm not quoting Gillan McLaughlin here, but several other clubs are saying North Melbourne to Tasmania is the obvious solution. We want to keep 18 teams. Ten clubs in Victoria is just not sustainable at a time when everything has been thrown back on the table. There'd be a lot of North Melbourne fans watching now who wouldn't, wouldn't cop that Horrified. Too well. And yeah. Ben Buckley would be number one. And he has said to the AFL four games was his limit in Tasmania. I think now the rules have changed. Interesting on Tasmania. There's two things that sort of run through my mind on Tassie because they are an interesting piece in all this. Can they still justify to the Tasmanian public the type of money they were going to put in, given that money's, you could argue, better spent on public health and wellbeing? I I would say that it is, 100% is. And in turn, can the AFL justify not taking the cheque if it's still there? Like, have their roles reversed in this? If Tassie are still wavering a cheque, how do the AFL say no to a cheque right now of that size? And in turn, how, do the, how does the Tassie government even explain to its people that it's possibly looking at this when it has to stimulate the economy, jobs? They might argue that they're one and the same, but I think it's a tough sell right now for Tassie. I believe football will only benefit from being resurrected in Tasmania in terms of its own team. The problem is Tasmanians didn't want North Melbourne. Had the AFL refused to give them a provisional licence, they would have asked to keep Hawthorne Games and get rid of North Melbourne. North Melbourne don't want to go to Tasmania, but you could almost justify the cost situation if you could relocate a club there and not establish a club from from scratch. It, It is the natural fit for each other, no and, question. And look, Gold Coast keeps coming up, and Ross Lyon brought it up last week. Let's have a look at some of the debate, debate around Gold Coast. If we just drill into Gold Coast, are they, for what we've pumped in, are we getting return on investment there? Do you put in hibernation, one less club, you could have a 32 game season, put marquee games up and service South East Queensland and really establish it and then maybe bring it out of hibernation and go again. The AFL Commission have done 10 years of hard slog using the media rights fee money to get us into this position. And why anybody would even consider chopping that growth off now just proves that perhaps not only are they a failed coach, but they don't know much about the economics either. Enough's enough. Go find another topic. We are off the agenda. Well, as newspaper people say, Caro, he's good copy, Tony Cochran, but that's really unfair on Ross and uh, a drive-by that wasn't needed. Uh, that no, said, but, no, but they probably didn't enjoy being told they yeah, were going I into mean, hibernation either. That's well, they I, should. I think people miss that more than 60% of the money in the game is the TV deal. If the TV deal is the, the biggest funder of the game, or it remains that way, and it's dictated on uh, Eastern Seaboard games and the same in each two in each city in Sydney and, and Brisbane, then it, of course there's 18 teams. It's not, the argument of how many people they get to the game is, is an, is an no, old, old there, hat. No, but there are presidents and some people on the commission and people involved in that so-called wartime, war room cabinet who 
don't believe necessarily that 18 teams should be the way forward necessarily. And yeah, but they... they've all got a dog in the fight, right? They've, they're not necessarily objective yep. because they're better served by less teams. I, I can't yeah. speak for Eddie Maguire. We might hear from him later in the week. Andrew Pridham, I can't speak for him. But Sydney, for a long time, have argued against the necessity for a second team out of Sydney. Is, they don't believe the market can sustain which it. Which is self-serving uh, as an argument, you could argue.